Good morning! Today is Monday, first day back from spring break. Let me tell you, 5 a.m., not my favorite time of day. Probably the worst angle and the worst lighting of life right now, but I don't care. Um, let me see. Yeah, that sun is just blaring in here. Okay, we're gonna attempt to, to prop the, this up so I can talk. So it's 6.30 in the morning. I'm here super, super early because I decided not to come in yesterday to prep, clean up. Um, I don't have a ton of prep to do the first day back from spring break because I'm really just gonna like do procedures today. But I do have some like cleaning I wanna do and organizing I wanna do. Um, like a couple things are change a few seating charts, just kind of little things like that. And, uh, and just pick up where I left off, you know what I mean? Um, but I wanted to ask you guys, do any of you have, well, this is a dumb question. You probably all have one of these, a school alarm. So our school's alarm is armed up until 7 a.m. And so if you get here before seven, you have to disarm it. And even though I know how to do it, it still scares the crap out of me every single time I do it. Cause I'm like, oh God, are the cops gonna get called? Like what's gonna happen? <laughs> but that's just my own personal downfall. Anyways, I brought turkey corn dogs for lunch because that's pretty much all I had. Um, I have switched from coffee to tea. Don't ask me why. Um, but I have, so I'm drinking Tazo's English breakfast, organic awake tea, and I've got some organic half and half I'm going to put in there. I need to like brew that. Let me show you the state of the classroom. Nothing major, honestly, like it's pretty clean. Um, this is a bit dirty from a lab we did and then I decided to use these tubs instead of these boxes because the kids just kind of like destroy these. So I decided I'm going to kind of keep these up here and then when it's time to use them, I'll send a kid up to grab them because I'm really just tired of like the mess that those boxes created. And a uh, fun fact, because <laughs> I just noticed this, these are all the pencils I have left in the whole world. So I sent a message before um, spring break saying, we don't have any more pencils. Um, please send some in. At the beginning of the year, I had so many pencils. And I know this is like, probably I sound like a broken record because we all have the same problem. But literally I had so many pencils. I had an entire drawer full of pencils. And almost every week I would put out like two or three boxes just to like replenish and without fail they were gone and the same kids who are constantly asking for pencils I'd be like okay if you can keep this one till Friday I'd put yeah, I'd even put marks on them if you keep this pencil till Friday you can earn you know a trip to the prize box nope still lost them. so anyway all right I'm gonna get signed in here and then I'll catch up when I get a minute. <laughs> Hello, my friends. So it's now almost four o'clock in the afternoon. I'm just sitting here trying to work on a behavior chart that I am creating for one of my students. Um, and trying to just kind of figure out what we're gonna do um, because some of these behaviors are pretty intense and extreme but anyways today went pretty great um it was really more of like a procedure practice day just refreshing on all of the expectations things like that um and i created this student agreement which is kind of cool so basically it just like has them like signing that they agree 
to follow the expectations that have been set by Ms. Groff and myself, my student teacher, and then that they understand what consequences that might come from making a poor choice. Um, I also gave them the opportunity if they fully disagreed with the expectations at school and the consequences that might come from those choices, that they were to take those home, have their parent, you know, explain why they could be opting out of those expectations and return that to me promptly. So anyway, I'm just kind of trying to, you know, like lock down these behaviors because I'm very tired of all of it. I know all the other teachers on campus are very tired of all of it. And I think that it's time to stop allowing some of these kids to treat us the way that they have been. So that's what I'm caught uh, up to at the moment. Um, but yeah, it was a good day tomorrow. Um, we're going to do some more procedure practice. We're going to learn how to send an email because I'm going to start doing progress reports in emails. So I'll be sending an email to the student and their parent for progress reports. Um, I used to do it on paper, but I hardly ever got those back. So I'm going to try emails. Um, and then I'm also starting to prep my classroom for testing season because on Monday we start testing, which personally I think that is absolutely insane that we're testing the second week back from fall, uh, spring break, but you know, that's beyond me. And then we're also going to do a read aloud with a book called the class or sorry, the recess queen. And then I have these discussion cards that I'll be passing out to the kids and we'll be practicing doing a mix up pair up, talking on task, sharing, think, pair, share, all of those kinds of routines. Um, just to make sure that everything is like solid before we start digging into actual content next week. So anyway, that's what I'm up to. <laughs> um, I think what I'm going to do now is go to the grocery store and grab a few things for food for the week. And then I'm going to go home and just relax. Um, yeah. So I hope you guys had a fabulous day. Whether you're back from break or you're getting ready to go on break. I'm not really sure where everybody's at in the rest of the world. But here in Arizona, we have already had our spring break gone and done. Nine weeks until summer. We can do it. Hello, my friends. Welcome back. It is Tuesday, the 28th of March, back in the classroom. Today's spirit day is actually wear blue or dress like your hobby. So I wore my blue bluegrass music shirt and my cowgirl boots. Cause you know, I don't know. I guess my hobby would be music, country music and it's blue, so perfect. Also, do you guys love my new frames from Zimpf? I'm obsessed. I kind of think that they're made for men but I really like like the wide and thick rectangle glasses on me. I just personally love that. Um, I do have a discount code for a bunch of different frames down in the description box below. I do have a coupon code for these frames as well as the other ones that I have from Zimpf and they'll be linked down below. So I don't know, I feel like this vlog is sort of like moving toward just kind of like the background of teaching this week. And that's fine with me because I feel like sometimes on this channel, like been there, done that. And I just kind of, I don't know. I wanna share new things. Like I wanna be real and honest and like share the reality of stuff. So um, today I got here a little bit later. Um, I did snooze my alarm a few times. I'll be completely honest, but you know what? It's fine, I'm here, I'm on time, it's all good. Um, so something kind of funny, I have stopped drinking coffee. Hate that, but I'm doing it. Um, I've been kind of like, like the whole spring break, I didn't really have access to coffee. So I've really only been drinking like energy drinks, Alani New, I actually really wanna try a couple of like more organic, natural, like clean energy drinks, because let's be honest, this is probably poison. Um, and then I've also been drinking tea. So I've been drinking black tea with just half and half, like organic half and half. 
I've been trying to like push myself to do more organic options just for my own personal health. Um, but yeah, it's been interesting and I haven't had any withdrawals. I'm still getting a little bit of caffeine every day. I've actually been trying to like go down in the amount of caffeine that I'm intaking. Um, so I can kind of wean myself off of it. So, you know, I don't know. I just think it would be nice to, um, not be so codependent on caffeine anymore as I'm drinking. Uh, did you guys see that? I hope you saw that. Drinking and spilling a poisonous energy drink. Want to see what I confiscated yesterday? They were throwing it around the room. I'm like, guys, it's Monday. We just got back from break. Really? Luigi with no mustache? Baby Luigi? Poor kid. Anyway, I'm going to hold on to him for a little while. Um, I got an email yesterday from a parent telling me that their child was called a mother. Hopefully I bleeped all of that out correctly. But... Um, and then she told me the two names of the people that had called her child that. I sent both parents emails regarding the matter. Both denied calling said child that word. Um, so I told the mom, I was like, I, you know, unfortunately, you know, I can't really prove that anyone's done anything. And, you know, this is a, pretty much as far as I can take it. Unfortunately, that's just the reality of today's schools. Um, personally, I wish that we had cameras in our classrooms. And, you know, it's unfortunate that that's something I'm even like thinking about, but like at this point, like parents need to be able to see what their kids are doing. Um, I know we have cameras like out in our yard and stuff. They don't pick up any sound or anything like that. So like all conversations are private and such, but I don't know. Like, I just feel like sometimes I wish I could, like, I wish I had a camera running in here and I wish I could like email a parent and be like, Hey, will you, um, like, it would be cool if like only the teachers and administration had access to these videos. And like, we could like take snippets of different things and like send them to a parent, you know what I mean? Like it wouldn't be like a live stream, so it would protect the privacy of students. Um, but like they would have to release obviously permission for their child's, you know, video to be shared with other parents. I don't know. I don't know how it would work, but I just wish there was a way for me to like snapshot like a 10 minute period and like send it to a parent and be like, check out what happened today. Like, it would just be really nice if I could do that. Um, and I know there's gonna be plenty of people here that disagree with that, but I don't know. It's just something about this last year has been just really tough. I've never in my teaching career had to like make a list of do's and don'ts in a classroom until this year. Like, I literally had to tell kids, like, you can't run in a classroom. Like, you can't, say these things like and I can't list all of the words that the kids can't say at school because that would be really bad but like you can't say this and you can't do this it's kind of like on airplanes where people are or, or like airports where it's like you can no longer like I don't know wear stilettos on an airplane because you'll pop the slide what was that from was that Kevin Hart or was that Angela Johnson I don't know, there was a comedian a while back who like did a whole bit, oh, maybe it was Jenna Marbles. Jenna Marbles on YouTube. I used to watch her all the time when I was younger. She had a whole video about people at the airport doing like making stupid choices. And like one of them was wearing stilettos on an airplane. And then like when the slide comes out, like they slide feet first down to the slide and the stilettos pop the slide. Like it's obvious you don't do that but like people still do it. So they have to say that in the safety video. I don't know, I digress. All right, I'm gonna get to work here. Um, I'll catch up with you guys when I have a time. My student teacher's not here today. So I'll have like the room to myself and I can just kind of like chat with you. I'm gonna drink this. 
and then head out to bus duty. Okay, so the playlist I'm playing today is the Patsy Cline radio. I told my students all about my Nashville trip and like who was discovered there and stuff. And they were like, eh, who's that? Like they don't know who Willie Nelson is. So today we're playing the Patsy Cline radio, which has got stuff like Dusty Springfield, Etta James, The Supremes, Merle Haggard, um, Patty Loveless, Etta James, Leslie Gore. So that'll be a fun playlist. And then the scent that I am melting, I guess, is called Lemon Sugar Cookie. It smells just like Fruit Loops. So I got this at Fry's or like Kroger. Um, I always, always have wax melts um, here in the classroom. And um, our favorite sm smell scent is the Lemon Sugar Cookie. Like it is legit the bomb. Okay run out and get you some sugar cookie, lemon sugar cookie, and then listen to the Patsy Cline radio. Suggestion made to you by Charlotte Apples and Tiaras. Hey guys, just wanted to check in with you. It is 3.30 in the afternoon and I'm working on a handful of teacher input forms. So my um, SPED teacher has sent out like three student information forms and a few invitations for IEP meetings that are all going to fall in the month of April. So what I'm doing right now is I'm spending a few minutes just typing in all of my um, comments in the teacher input form so that they can use those comments to run their IEP meeting. If you're new to teaching or if you're going into teaching, this is something that is very common. It's very normal. Um, the special education teacher will send you a document that you'll need to fill out information about that student. So it might be like a reading strength, reading weakness, math weakness, math strength, behavioral concerns, things like that. Um, it kind of varies district to district, but right now I'm filling out, I think there's like three of them that I need to fill out. And I typically like to fill them out the day that they're sent to me because then I know that they're done. Um, and so I have like 30 minutes. I should be able to be done by four. If not, I'm going to just stay past my contract hours to just make sure that these are done um, because I don't like having to go back and do them later because um, I forget a lot. So, uh, by the way, I'm using this <laughs> House Hoth Labs. It's Lady Gaga's makeup brand and it's her lip oil and I really like it. This is the shade Secondary. Um, I got it at Sephora, but I really, really like it. It's very moisturizing. It's kind of glossy and I really enjoy it. So that's what I'm using. Anyway, okay, I'm gonna stop talking and I'm gonna fill these out. I'm gonna listen to some music while I do it and just knock it out. Also, today's playlist is going to be the Elvis Presley radio playlist. It has like Connie Francis, Patsy Cline, a couple of folks from yesterday's playlist, but that is what we are listening to today. And of course, we still have lemon sugar cookie in our wax melts. Hello, my friends. Happy Wednesday. Today's spirit day is dress either in red or dress as your dream career. So I dressed up as an Instagram mom. I have like sweatpants on and shoes and whatever. Anyway. <gasps> oh. I hear someone coming. I'm currently working on reading through my student teacher's first performance assessment lesson plan. Um, she is going through the... Um, Arizona State University teaching program, which is ASU. They do a full year of student teaching and they're in the classroom three days a week, which is totally different than when I was in school. We were in there four days a week. Um, but either way, she has a performance assessment coming up on Tuesday next week where she is gonna have her, one of her professors come in and observe her teaching. So I'm actually just reading through her lesson plan which we are using, or she is using, sorry, a mystery science lesson. So it'll be kind of like the engage portion of a 5e lesson plan. And we're going to be using the energize everything unit from mystery science. So that's what I'm currently working on. Um, today during homeroom, we need to practice our testing procedures. 
and that is just going to entail the students grabbing their Chromebooks, logging out of their Chromebooks, and opening up the secure test website. Um, if there's time, I might take them through signing into a test, a uh, sample test, just to have them be ready for Monday because we are testing Monday. Um, and then I'm going to be doing that recess queen activity that I mentioned earlier in this vlog. Um, so that's what I'm currently working on. A coworker of mine is going to be borrowing one of my favorite tiaras. This is, um, Sleeping Beauty's tiara. If you're wondering why I have a tiara, think about my YouTube name, Apples and Tiaras. So I actually used to dress up, those of you that are new here, um, I used to dress up like princesses and entertain at children's birthday parties. So that's where the tiaras comes from. Um, apple, teacher, tiara, princess. I used to do both. Um, so that is where the name came from. Uh, but she's gonna be borrowing sweet Aurora today because she is going to be a princess. That is her dream job or queen um, or something like that. But anyway, she's going to borrow that. So I'm going to read through this. I've got about 30 ish minutes until the kids get here and Jessica's not here again today. So I'll update you guys. Um, here's what I'm having for breakfast. It's very nutritious. This dip from fries. I think you can get it at Costco and some Nana's chips. Yeah. It's very, um, nutritious and healthy and it's also very easy. So that's what I'm having for breakfast and I'm going to get started and I'm going to get this morning rolling. Good morning, my friends. How are you? Happy Thursday. Um, today's spirit day is wear purple. This is pretty much the only purple that I own. Um, I don't know. I just don't wear purple. It's just not my thing. Luckily though, this shirt totally fits. So, you know, today is also our spring carnival. Um, which is running from 5, 5 to 6.30. I also have after-school tutoring until 3.50. And so I will be here on campus until about probably 7. And then I have a special visitor coming from California. Do you guys know who Kate the Sleepy Teacher is? I don't know if she goes by that anymore. She's uh, passing through. She was doing like a major spring break excursion through California and Arizona. I love how adventurous she is. I wish I was that way. Um, I'm more of a small time adventurer, if you know what I mean. Um, so anyway, right now I'm just um, redeeming all of the points from my dojo store. If you guys are interested how I use Class Dojo and the dojo store for my classroom management, there is a video, I will link it here in the iCard, um, and you can go check that out. And um, if you have any questions about Dojo or how I use it, watch that video first, and then feel free to ask me any more questions that you have. All right, this is probably too much talking already, so I'm gonna let y'all go, and I'll see you later. Good morning, everyone, happy Friday. We've made it a whole week. Whew, it was a doozy, but we made it. Today's spirit day is supposed to be rainbow day, like wear as many colors as you can, but I don't have that or Mary cut. Oh my gosh, I can't talk. I don't have very many colors in my wardrobe, so I wore the most colorful shirt that I have and jeans because I can. So my student teacher is fully taken over today going to be her first day doing three lessons in a row. Usually she just watches me. Uh, she'll watch me do the first couple of classes and then she will do um, the third class or sometimes she'll watch me do two classes and or watch me do one and do the second class or the third class. Wow, I can't speak. It's because I need caffeine. <laughs> I swear my brain is like not able to function without it. Anyway, Something so sad happened yesterday. My lanyard broke. I think I pulled it too hard. It just came undone. So a lot of the beads fell on the floor, but my fourth graders were like running around trying to scoop them all up. So anyways, we made it to Friday. Today the kids are gonna do a STEM challenge with Jessica at the lead. Um, and it's kind of related to earthquakes. I think I mentioned in my last vlog that we didn't really get to finish like our earthquakes unit. 
Um, so today the kids are gonna be doing a marshmallow uh, toothpick tower. Um, and then I have a I have a shake table that we might throw them on at the end um, just to see if they can withstand an earthquake. The, but their goal isn't for it to do that. Their goal is really for it to just like be the tallest one. So um, I find that toothpicks and marshmallows, you can't really make anything that tall. And actually like if they focus more on making it sturdy then it will stay standing and not fall over and then it will be the tallest so but anyways i'm trying to move myself back here because jessica is going to be teaching from the front today um so i'm trying to like reposition all my stuff to the back of the room that way she's got plenty of space i like giving her like when it's her turn i like to completely move out of the way and give her her space so that she can feel like it's her you know it's her class because it is so um yeah that's what i'm doing right now i'm gonna be going to prescott this weekend um to visit family and so that'll be a fun time and yeah friday made it first week back from spring break success next week we have testing so i'm probably not gonna do like a teaching vlog um because it's just it's just is what it is i don't think i need to take anything else down uh because i don't have a lot of like signage up anymore like i don't think i need to take all of this down because none of it is like testing motivation or anything like that or, like it's all just i don't know i don't think i need to take it down I'll have to erase like the schedule and stuff. Well, no, eh, I'll probably just erase it just cause. But yeah, I don't have, like, as you can see, I don't have a ton of, like I might take because down, but actually maybe I'll just cover it because I don't want to take that down yet. We use that a lot. But yeah, I don't need to take a whole bunch of stuff down for testing. Um, I am going to though have to, figure out like I'm probably gonna have when I so I have four kids at each table so what I'm gonna do is have one sit here here there and across rather than like two 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 like we'll utilize the ends of the tables so I might move the tables around just for testing and then move them back and also have one two I have two other like tabletops that kids can sit at and take their tests. I actually could put two kids up here too. If I cleared this off, I could put two kids there to test because I want to make sure that there's plenty of space between them all. So yeah. And that's it. That's all she wrote. I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. It's been an interesting one. This just this just just different than normal. Um, I'm just trying to do something different because what I've been doing has been boring me. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Next vlog is gonna have a very important announcement in it. Yeah. All right, well, maybe not the next one. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Driving by the fields I used to run through